Hey folks, David Stewart here. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about World of Warcraft. Um, my good buddy Mike asked me to make a video talking about what some of my hopes are for what Blizzard will deliver with um, their version of classic World of Warcraft in the future, their version of Vanilla WoW. And uh, that's what I'd like to talk about. Um, because, of course, in the last couple weeks since Blizzard announced that, there's been a lot of debate on Reddit and on Blizzard's forums as well as to what things ought to be changed um, from the Vanilla WoW experience uh, with just as much pushback saying nothing should be changed. It should be just like what it was. And what my main hope is uh, for what Blizzard does is regardless of what little things they might change, they keep all the core design, game design, game system design elements intact. And what I mean by that is that if you imagine a tabletop RPG, you have a game design system. You have a game system, really, is what it is. Um, like if you have a D20, you roll a D20 to see if you roll above something's armor class to see if you hit it. Um, now, messing with that game design would be like eliminating the armor class, right? And that's what's happened over time with World of Warcraft is they've changed a lot of the core design elements. Uh, and that, to me, has created a less satisfying um, sort of product overall. And I think the core design elements are what produced the great effect that we all had playing that original 1 to 60 version of classic World of Warcraft is the way all these all these game systems sort of interacted um, to deliver us a, a meaningful emotional experience um, versus the content itself. I think people look at Nax and they're like, Oh, Nax isn't, you know, we've seen this on private servers, like Nax isn't as good as I remembered it being, or it's like, it's not as hard as I remember it being, or all these sorts of things. And while that's true, I think it's a mistake to focus on the content, um, because that's what Retail WoW is really good at. Retail WoW is really good at delivering new, exciting raid content. Um, but that's not what Vanilla WoW was about. Vanilla WoW was about the entire experience, the holistic experience of, of going 1 to 60 out in the world and the big challenge of finally getting to 60 and, and getting 40 of your friends together to do a, a raid was its own challenge. All those systems produced really, really cool emergent gameplay and really, really cool effects on um, and deep emotional effects in some senses. Some of the friends I made in Vanilla WoW, I still have. Some of them have come, we've been at each other's weddings, right? That's how, uh, that's that environment created such a, a, a great place for social interaction too. Um, so what I want is I want those core game design elements to be there. And I'll just give some examples, right? So um, the amount of experience taken to get to 60, for instance, um, that produced an effect that when you finally got to 60, that was a big, meaningful achievement. It felt really good to finally get your character to 60. Um, and it felt really good because it was a challenge behind level 60 to really get there. And if you lower the experience, like uh, like what Blizzard has done over the years, and there's even been videos that have been done, you know, of people getting going like one to 100 in like four hours or something like that. Um, as you lower the amount of experience or give more paths to overcome that experience barrier, you cheapen you cheapen the experience of leveling um, significantly to where it it becomes a chore and no longer something that has relevance and importance and impact. For itself, um, basically, once we started seeing expansions, people would spend a day leveling. Ah, we got to get this leveling out of the way so that we can do the grindy in game, right? Um, whereas in vanilla, that one to sixty experience was a deep, meaningful, really fun, cool RPG experience on its own. And if you nerfed the amount of experience, that would um, that would lessen the impact. Likewise, if you made monsters easier to kill. You're shortening the amount of time to 60, and you're also lowering uh, a, a lot of the emotion that's invested in the way that you interact with the world. Um, there was, there's always this feeling that if you're if you pull two mobs, you're in trouble in Vanilla WoW because those two mobs can kick your butt with most classes. Uh, and when you accidentally pull two or three mobs and you manage to kill them all, that's uh, that's a a an experience where you feel satisfied and you feel like you've overcome a challenge. And the one to 60 experience was. It was just packed full of these things or these experiences where you pull an elite and the elite kills you. Now, most people would say, I, I think it, it's it's too shallow to say, well, people don't want to be just killed by random elites. Well, of course they don't. The question is, what what 
effect did that end up having on their behavior and on the way that they interacted with the World of Warcraft? Getting killed by like Morladeen randomly out in, in Duskwood sucks the first time you do it, but it's, there's also a cool effect to it. Like, oh man, there's like a pretty much a boss walking around here. I got to be careful. And so the next time you go out there, because you've been punished for carelessness, you're very, very careful and aware of this elite walking around out there so that you can avoid him then when you finally get to kill him later later on down the quest chain it's a really cool satisfying experience like this guy that owned the crap out of you at level 21 you get up closer to level 30 and then you can finally kick his butt and go get his sword and and the whole bit um so that heightens the the emotional payout at the end of the zone by having that elite walking around there is, is like a great example. Uh, and I think most of the design changes that have happened over World of Warcraft since vanilla have been done with a very, very shallow mindset that players don't like having to do X or like we want to improve the quality of life by, by nerfing this feature or getting rid of this feature or adding a feature that lets them avoid something they don't want. Of course, there are things in a game you don't want. Like when you're playing Super Mario Brothers, you don't want to fall in the pit and die. So what's the correct design response to that? Well, it's to allow the player to jump over the pits and not die and, you know, according to their skill, progress. That's the game of Super Mario Brothers. And the mistake would be, and I think WoW is quite guilty of this, with everything short of like the raid content and even the raid content to a certain extent, with like looking for raid is rather than than the player going i don't want to fall in the pit they're like well we'll just we'll, we'll make it so that there, there's no pit or when you fall in the pit it just puts you on the other side of the pit and makes you blink right um that yeah people don't want to fall in pits but that's not the way a game works a game includes states that you don't want includes a failure state includes things in it you don't want includes punishments um adding graveyards into the game is something they shouldn't do um when they bring vanilla in uh, they added graveyards in some patch and it was like oh finally i don't have to spend 20 minutes corpse running back to my corpse well that 20 minute corpse run just basically was a, a punishment for dying and encouraged you to be more careful the next time you went around and be more careful about where you're at in in a zone and how many mobs you pulled and taught you that you needed to be better at your class so that you didn't die like a noob and uh, that in turn gave you a more satisfying experience. Uh, also, if you accidentally pulled an elite and you knew that there was like a 20 minute corpse run coming if that elite killed you and you did everything you could to beat the elite, you popped all your cooldowns, you drank your potions, you kited him around and finally you killed him. The feeling of overcoming that sudden challenge, the adrenaline rush of that, of that elite attacking you, it's missing from modern WoW. It's just not there anymore. And that's, that was an everyday experience back then. Or having a rogue suddenly jump you in Stranglethorn Vale and you being able to fight off that rogue and kill him. Yeah, nobody likes being ganked, but it feels great when somebody tries to gank you and then you gank them and you corpse camp them until they quit the game. Like these are all really amazing experiences that happen in World of Warcraft that are gone now and will, will be gone forever except for this classic server. And they those experiences emerged because of the way that the systems were. So the systems need to remain the, be remaining the same. You know, what monsters there are, how much damage they do, their aggro radius how much experience it takes to do stuff. Item drop rates should not be buffed or anything like that. The stuff that I, I don't care that much about them changing would be, you know, for instance, letting you mail multiple items. We just used a mod to get around that. So maybe like the razor would be if people used a simple mod to get it to, to do something, it's okay to put that feature in the game because it's, it's not really like, you're not really nerfing a system. You can't create a mod that makes monsters do less damage to you. Right. So, um, you know, if they made it, oh, and you can send multiple packages in the mail. There might be some people that are like, no, it's not like vanilla, but other people would be like, that's cool. I don't, now I don't have to use this mod to send 20 packages to my bank alt. Um, so that's cool, right? Um, there's a lot of things that, that made that experience um, happen, and, and I hope that they keep the, the, the systems there. Because in the future, maybe, I don't know, the community may want this or may not want this if they add content to the vanilla version of the game. Like, different content from what you got progressive you know progressing through the regular expansion system that people might object to that but if the core systems are the same then the feelings that might be associated with that new content would also be the same if they're designed with the same things in mind hard content content that punishes you for failure punishes you for not for being careless for not being prepared before you came to a dungeon or before you walked out into the world those are all things that made the 
the World of Warcraft experience great. When you walked out of town, you wanted to have pots in your bag, you wanted to have food, you wanted to have drink, you want to have all this stuff because you were going out into a dangerous world. Um, anytime you lessen that, that is going to reduce the impact of, of the of the overall game world on the on the player um, and there, therefore reduce their satisfaction. So that's my main hope. Um, they may change this or that, you know, um, and then there's other, you know, there's other little things we can go down the list. Like, should they have summoning stones outside of dungeons? Should those actually summon people? And it's like, well, that reduces the utility of warlocks, right? Which changes the systems. So I would probably go with no. Um, so those are just really good examples. And that's really my hope for, for classic wow is that it's going to, um, allow all of all players, whether they got to do this back in the day or not. To go onto a server and have a meaningful long-term experience um, that continues to deliver fun and satisfying and a, a, you know adrenaline rush experiences um, from here on out. You know that's that's my hope. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support me, of course you can buy my books. Um, they're linked down below, um, or you can buy my music. That's also appreciated. Um, and leave me your thoughts about what your hopes are. Um, for vanilla World of Warcraft or the way that uh, Blizzard's going to manage it. Um, I think I will sign off by saying this. I think when I mention all these things, there's lots of things that I think people who were in vanilla don't actually want brought back. Like we can talk about like patch progression and stuff like that. That's maybe a different discussion. But the stuff that I think people actually don't want brought don't want brought back are things like bugs, like game breaking bugs, or people being able to hack. No one liked the server crashing, right? It'd be great to have that with no server crashes. Nobody liked low population realms. I was on one for a while and that sucks. So get rid of low pop realms, you know, have make sure that your realms are high pop, people like that. Um, you know, having one continent crash and one be up, having raid instances be full and you not being able to show up to your raid. Um, all the little bugs that were present in Vanilla WoW, I don't think people want those. They want the systems is the main thing. Um, so yeah, bugs were part of the Wild West of it, but I think if you got rid of the bugs, I don't think you are lessening the vanilla experience. I think it's it's all part of it. Um, I don't know if you want to include wall jumping or something like that in there. Some of the little eccentricities of the game were part of, of the experience of that time. Uh, but even if you got rid of wall jumping, I, I still think there'd be lots of wacky, fun PvP um, because the way that players interact, as long as those those things are kept intact, it's still going to be good. So that's that, and I hope you guys will um, join me for the next video too. You guys have a great one.